so hello guys welcome back to youtube channel so in this tutorial video we are going to learn about how to create neon light button animation effects on hover by using pure css so as you can see that this is our example of we are going to create here so as you can see when i over here it shows colors and all and this is our snake uh, loader animation here guys snake border animation we are going to use it here okay so as you can see so let's start with our code so let's just remove this one let's open our live server <coughs> so as you can see that guys i write down our html file here so i am going to create here our neon light button here so for button we need to write down so i'm going to write down here as a hashtag only then spandex so let's just copy this one and paste for four side i write down here one two three and four for square bracket i use four span here okay so let's just copy this one Let's just write down here as a neon light button. Now let's just copy this one and paste it into three. So as you can see, now let's start with our CSS file. So let's open our CSS file. Curly brackets open and close. Let's write down our margin and padding. Then font family, whichever you want to use. So let's use this one. <coughs> now let's use our box sizing border box. Now let's use our body. Curly brackets open and close. <coughs> let's use our display as a flex. Uh, now let's give them the content as a center then align items as a center now let's use the minimum height so i'm going to use it here as a 100 vertical height <coughs> okay now let's add our flex direction here guys so I'm going to add our flex direction as a column. So as you can see, it's in column mode right now. Now let's use our background. So I'm going to use let's write down black color. Now let's write down our anchor tag A. Let's write down our position as a relative, then display as a inline block we are going to use it here then padding so let's give them the padding as a 25 pixel yeah let's also give them the height as a 35 pixel yeah let's give them the 30 pixel <coughs> now <coughs> let's use our margin now let's use our color so color i am going to use <coughs> here i use light color light blue okay now let's move forward to our font size so i am going to use it here as a 25 pixel then text decoration i'm going to use as a none <coughs> text transform as a overflow if you want uh, here you can see capitalized lowercase whichever you want so i'm going to use as a uppercase then overflow as a hidden i'm going to use then the later spacing you want to give them so let's give them the 5 pixel so as you can see the spacing in the later <coughs> now let's use our anchor tag over 
plus curly bracket open and close background hashtag let's choose the color <coughs> now let's use our color as a five zero eight zero one black color now <coughs> let's use our box shadow so let's use a box shadow as a 25 pixel let's just copy this blue color so let's copy this one Now let's use our anchor tag and span tag. So let's curly brackets open and close. Let's give them the position as a absolute. Let's just remove this symbol. Now let's give them the display as a block. Now let's use our anchor tag span NTH child. We are going to use it here as a first one. Well, as you can see, when we over it shows our blue color. <coughs> now <coughs> let's curly brackets open and close. Give them the top position as a zero. Then let position as a hundred percent. I am going to write. Let's write down as a minus then let's use our width as a hundred percent let's use our background as a linear gradient 90 degree transparent i'm going to use So here I choose a blue color as you can see. <coughs> now let's give them the animation guys. So let's write down our animation as the animate one. I give them the name one second linear infinite. Now let's give them the keyframes. So let's give them the keyframes as the animate one. Curly brackets open and close, zero percentage, curly brackets open and close. Now let's give them the left position as a hundred percentage. Now let's use fifty percent and hundred percent as a both. Now let's curly brackets open and close. Let's give them the left position as a hundred percent. <coughs> okay. <coughs> As you can see, we need to add our <coughs> and the child one and two for that. So let's add our. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste and paste. This is our first one. Now let's give them the second one here as a name child. So here I'm going to write down as a hundred percent. Here I'm going to give them the right position as a zero. So these I'm going to give them the two weeks. Old. <coughs> Let's see why it didn't show up our lights here. Snake border. What we yeah here we didn't give the transition here guys. So let's give them the transition as a 0.5 second. So let's save them. Let's add our anchor 
NTH child as of one. I'm going to use our filter here, guys. So let's use our filter as a view rotation. So I'm going to give them 290 degree. Okay, so let's just copy this one and paste here. I give them the name as a three as a 110 degree. You want to give them four. Now let's <coughs> start with our code. Our anger span NTHL one is clear, guys. <coughs> now let's uh, see our second one. So let's write down. Yeah, here we didn't write any height here. So let's give them the height. As a two pixel. So as you can see that guys, this is a slight, slightly mistake. As you can see. So now let's just copy this one. <coughs> now. <coughs> Let's change our second one name here as a animate two name. Okay, so here we are going to change our degree here, guys. So let's change our degree. So here I'm going to use as a 180 degree, and here our let's use our height as a hundred percent. According to your need, you can use it here, guys. Okay. <coughs> now, let's. If you want to delay the animation, you can also do that. So, let's add our animation delay 0.25 second. So, this is for our <coughs> animation delay. If you want to change the position. According to your need, you can also do that. So let's change our position as a top. I'm going to do that here, not the lat position. So as you can see, when it goes to straight center and then top, as you can see. So that's why we use it here. Now let's use our NTH child C here, guys. So here I'm going to change these one our top to bottom. So as you can see, it's move left to right. But for that, you need to change the direction here by doing this one and giving this plus point. So according to a need, you can use that here. So here I use. So I also need to change this one as a right also. So as you can see, <coughs> it's more right now, <coughs> right side, left to right. Now let's also change your the last one for this side position. So for that we need to write down bottom for that. So so let's use of Let's use these as a three number anyway, so we can easily understand. So let's write down our bottom here as a guys. So let's so let's use our zero percentage, and this is our width. So let's use width as a two pixel. Let's use our hundred percentage height. Let's change our degree here, guys, <coughs> as a three sixty degree. If you also want to change this here, you can also do that. So let's give them two seventy degree. <coughs> uh, and here I'm going to give them the animation delay. 
as a 0.75 second let's give them let's also give them here the animation delay as a 50 second if you want to give so let's give them 0.5 second let's change the our position as a bottom Let's change our this one name. So as you can see that guys. So this is our neon light button animation works here by snake border as you can see it's moving right now snake border type. So this is for our neon light button guys by using pure CSS if you have any query write down in the comment section and also for the source code don't forget to write your email id in the comment section okay. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.